Well, you're zoomed in nice and close today. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I am Christina Kay, and here we mainly focus on Disney things, but I also have a bit of a makeup problem. So today we're gonna do an Ulta haul. A lot of the stuff I'm actually packing for my upcoming trip to Disneyland, so I wanted to show you all and then pack it. So here we go. Big box, heavy box, actually. The first thing is something that I'm constantly buying a bunch of. There was a little bit of a sale going on, so I stocked up. I will not go to Disney without this stuff. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I've joked before, it's the all park during the day or This stuff's amazing, and I got the big guys too. Love, love, love this stuff. I don't love the price, but I like when it's on sale. And right now is Ulta's 20, Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, and you can get three of these for the price of two, so can't beat that. I mean, you could, but it's still pretty good. Some primers for you. Uh, two I'm really enjoying right now. The first is the Catrice Prime and Fine. I love this stuff. It's hydrating. It's been great for me this summer. I bought backups of this. I'm going to try this one. I haven't done this one yet. It's the Poreless Blur Primer, also from Catrice Prime and Fine. Uh, goodbye pores. Love that. Right now, I've been using this for my pores. I had to buy a backup kind of mixed reviews on this baby, but I like it. It's the L'Oreal uh, Magic Perfecting Base. It's a little bit of a putty, less is more with this stuff. If you've ever used some of the other putties, you know, like kind of leave streak marks on or like you get little like balls of the putty, this will do the same thing. You just have to know how to use it. Like I said, less is more. I literally have not unpacked this, so everything's still wrapped up. CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Um, this stuff's really good. I really like the Dermalogica. I just don't like the price of it. So this has been a, a good, I don't know if I want to say dupe for it, but I like the value size. I bought this on my last haul. I think you can tell I like it because I bought four more of them. It is the Essence. Um, probably take one out and show you. It's the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. I have this in green too. This one's the waterproof one and I'm loving it. I'm wearing it today. This stuff is so good. I gave it to um, my best friend who has really sensitive eyes and she couldn't find mascara that working all day in the Disney store would not like, you know, spread or smear, schmutz, all that fun stuff. So I gave it to her and she loves it. And also in here I have my LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in Brunette. I really, really like this. Um, it beats all the high-end stuff for me. I'm wearing something high-end today and I'm not like thrilled with it. So I wish I had more backups in them or maybe they're somewhere else. Samples. I struggle with concealers a lot, but this one is something I go back to time and time again. It was a BOGO, so I got two of them. It's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. It's new packaging. I hope it's the same formula. I get it in fair. I really like it. I needed it because I'm running low and I need to pack this baby for Disneyland because mama hasn't been sleeping. Something else that I ordered for Disneyland is something I already have, but I wanted to get a travel version and a regular version. It's the Milani Soft and Sultry Palette. I can open it up and show you this baby. Milani eyeshadows are very good. For a drugstore, I think they're amazing. They're probably actually my favorite from the drugstore. Okay, this always happens on my beauty hauls. I'm like, <sighs> I'm like showing that I'm beauty, not brains. Or maybe I'm showing either, I don't know. So this is the packaging. They kind of, ooh. You can see some stuff you're probably not supposed to see here. Uh, they make it a little high-end. Oh, yeah, I really love this. Great size mirror. Look at the baby. Look at these colors. They're cool toned. They're beautiful. I really, really like it. They stay. They last. I get compliments on it. I have their smaller shadows too, but this was just great for travel with the mirror. And it's a good size. And I've been using it up a lot, so I wanted to have backup. Speaking of backup... Two of my favorite foundations I was running low on, so I wanted to make sure I have. This one I'm definitely taking with me to Disneyland. I'm wearing it today. I love this. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Wear. This stuff is so great. Whenever I wear this, everyone's like, your skin looks amazing. I've struggled with shades. I think this one's definitely my summer shade. I don't think it's going to do well in winter. It's shade 430. The shades are weird. You kind of have to just make sure you blend it really well. But I love, love, love this foundation. This is more of my winter one. It's a lighter one. This is more full coverage. Uh, it's Physician's Formula. It's great. They both have pretty decent SPFs, if I'm not 20. They both have 20. Oh, this one has 25, even better. Uh, they're both so great. This one, like I said, it's a lighter formula. This is a little bit more full coverage. 
I mentioned SPF and the foundations. I still wear SPF under it though as part of my skincare routine every day, even in the winter, so important. This by far has become my favorite. It's the Neutrogena Hydra Boost SPF 50. I think I also have a 30. This stuff is so great. It's hydrating. I love it. It's the first sunscreen I've ever used on my face that has not clogged my pores. This stuff's amazing. It feels good all over my skin. I bought a couple backups. I also bought a backup in my hairspray. I love this stuff. The bedhead. I don't like the price of it, but you can usually find it on sale. You can even find it at TJ Maxx too, but I think it was on sale for the, the travel size, which why didn't I get the travel size? Huh. I mentioned that I love the Urban Decay All Nighter. I wanted to try a drugstore product to see if it would be as good, and I heard some good things about the Seal the Deal Hydrating Spray from Flower Beauty. We'll see how it works. I don't have the highest of hopes, but I've been enjoying the Flower Beauty products that I've been trying, so you never know. It's like the never-ending box. This is literally the first time I'm opening it, so everything's so out of order. Oh, I did get more of the LA girl shady slim brow pencils. I don't understand how they package this stuff. This is all over the place. I also got more. <laughs> I've really stocked up here. Uh, the Essence Lash Princess. This is the green one I was talking about, the not waterproof one. I've also heard good things about this Essence one, the Lash Extension Mascara. I didn't want to try it for a vacation. I'll try it when I'm home though. Oh, this is something I forgot about. What is this? Was this a gift with purchase? An it brush from Ulta? Oh, this might have been a gift with purchase. It's the Angled Blending Crease Brush. I, yeah, I don't think I ordered this. This must have been a gift with purchase. Yes, bonus. I think these two lip glosses were a gift with purchase too. L'Oreal, yeah, L'Oreal Paris Lip Color Rouge. What shade is this? 440 Choose. Mm, all right. And the NYX Butter Gloss in... Creme brulee. Oh yeah, I think I ordered this one. I've heard good things about this, so definitely gotta try it out. I don't understand how they package this stuff. <laughs> Another mascara that I got backups in. I usually use this on my lower lash line. Didn't today because I didn't have it. It's from L'Oreal. It's just the original uh, carbon black waterproof voluminous OG. I, right now I'm trying the Urban Decay uh, Potion Eyeshadow Primer, whatever it's called, but I heard Milani's a dupe for it and it's a lot cheaper, so we're gonna try this baby out. Flower Beauty, I am loving their flower pots, their blush. I'm wearing one of the shades today. I got this one in Peach Primrose. I wanted like a peachy color, obviously it's called Peach. So we'll see how that works, but they last the longest out of all the blushes that I have. This is my favorite eyeliner. It's from Makeup Revolution. It's so luxurious looking, but the price isn't. I really like this and they last a very long time, you guys. I finally got my hands on this. It's been sold out for so long. The e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So I guess it's going to be like the L'Oreal Magic Base, but I hear really good things about this, so we shall see. Finally got my hands on this baby, too. I've never used anything from J.Cat, but I heard really good things about their Pro Powder. It's the Pearl Luminizer, so I'm hoping to use it for a highlight, because look how much you get in that. Yes. I got some backups on my Olay Night Cream. I wish I could say I liked the... Um, high-end one from Sephora that I'm trying and I can't think of the name of it now but I, I you'll see it on an empty soon and then I got back up in my butter bronzer because I went through a whole one this summer mm. I think that's everything I have a major empties video coming soon hopefully I'll have time before I go to Disneyland to do a kind of pack with me like what I'm taking a lot of this stuff I'm taking though waterproof mascara urban decay all-nighter the soft and sultry palette the brow the um, Catrice primer I love this stuff uh, that foundation so a lot of stuff's coming with me hopefully we can do a little pack with me in just a bit I have Disney hauls coming soon I have empties coming soon I have to go to work though I'm interviewing Camila Cabello today very interesting. I want to talk to her about makeup, too, because she's got that line with L'Oreal that I love. So I'll keep you posted on that. You could check out all that stuff that I do, because uh, I work in radio, by the way. Did you know that? If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Christina Kay. I do afternoons on Walk 97.5. I interview artists all the time. You could check it out on our YouTube, Walk 97.5. All right.
I am off. Have a wonderful day. I would love to know what beauty products you're using, so leave a comment below. If you used any of this stuff that I haven't yet and you have tips on how to use it, whatever, please leave that below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. I will talk to you soon. I'm Christina Kay. Have a Disney day. Makeup, ooh na na. I have a problem buying makeup, ooh na na. The problem is I can't stop buying it.